Okay, so two I don't know is one no. All right, show you some things in the Bible. Give me verse 68. Start at verse 15. So what this Bible is about, you heard of the Jews before, right? Right. What do the Jews look like today? You saw a Jewish person walking down the street. What do you look like? Look like a white man. Now, this Bible is about the Jews. Agreed. I agree. Now, you said the Jews are like white people, right? Let's read the Bible because this is about the Jews, right? Let's read the history. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told the Jews, if you didn't do what I told you to do, do my rules. You know what those rules are? That I'll give you a, a, a hint. Everything that we do to each other in the projects, God told us not to do to each other. Right. Killing, stealing, murdering, you know what I'm saying? Sleeping, uh, uh, committing adultery, sleeping with Mr. Steal Your Girls. Everything, not religion. We think that this Bible is about religion in the church. But this Bible said, don't do these things I told you to do or you'll be cursed as a race of people. Right. Now, let's read one of them curses. Verse 68. First, now we talk about the Jews. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, this was when they came out of Egypt because they were slaves in Egypt, right? You said that, right? So they coming out of slavery, but he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt. Now, if you look up the word, that of Egypt, it means bondage or slavery. He said, I'm going to bring you back into slavery as a curse. But this time, again, again. with ship. What? With ship. How do we come into slavery in this country? Ship. In Virginia. Petersburg, Richmond, right. We came into slavery again, but this time on slave ships. Right. Bible just said that. Now we in Virginia, and we talking about the Jews of the Bible, and one of those curses will be they will go back into slavery. You hear me, John? Yeah. Don't lose focus, John. On slave ships. Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. They ain't saw their homeland no more. Right. And then Read. And there and there, like in Virginia. You'll be what? Ye shall be sold. You shall be what? Sold. As what? Unto your enemies. To your friends. Enemies. Do friends beat your back like that? See? Nah, that's an enemy that do something like that to you. Right. Read. For bond men. Gonna be sold to your enemies for slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Now, whose history is that? That's them white man's history over there calling themselves Jews? That's your history. Right. But wait a minute. Hold on. We reading about the Jews of the Bible, right? Go to verse thirty-three. I'll we'll show you something else. I'll show you now. These are curses that happen to the Jews. What's your race? Like when you fill out a job application, what you put on it? African American. Okay. What's your race? African American. That term wasn't coined until nineteen eighty-five. Right. So what were you before that? Probably nigger. Probably colored. Probably black. None of those are racist though. So why your race keep changing? Why does your race keep changing? And why do the people that did this to you keep changing your race? The point is, you don't know what you are. Because the Bible said the Israelites would be cursed. Read. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land. So the fruit of your land, meaning your resources. Like when we was over there in Africa before they brought us over here. Because Israel, where the Jews are from, is in Northeast Africa. So he said, the fruit of your land, this is another curse, many your resources. And all thy labor. And all your work. You go to work for a people. Read. Shall a nation. Shall a nation, meaning another race of people. Which thou knowest not, uh -huh. eat up. Meaning they're going to benefit off it. So you're going to go to work for a race of people, all your labor, and they're going to benefit from it. All your resources, all the gold, all the jewels, all the diamonds, they're going to take them and they're going to benefit their race of people. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed. You shall be what? Only oppressed. I'm going to ask y'all a real simple question. Are our people oppressed? Even today. Still. Still. Yeah. Slavery been ended. Yeah. The Bible said the Jews. Now, are those people over there in Palestine bombing the hell out of Palestinians oppressed? You think they're oppressed? The Jewish people, they oppressed? You said probably? They got militaries. They bombing innocent children right now in Palestine. Right. The ID, the Israeli defense system, the so-called Jewish people. They got bombs. They got a military. They got people in the UN. They got a prime minister. If you can't even say nothing about them, or well, you're going to be labeled what? Anti. 
But society play a part in a lot of it. Because society think everything good is bad and everything bad is good. Right. The Bible say don't do that. The Bible say don't do that. They call you anti-Semitic if you say they evil for killing babies. Right. That's what they say. But is it evil to kill a baby? But them Jewish people, they say, if you say that, you anti-Semitic. Kanye said, we the Jews. Right. What they label him? Anti-Semitic. Kyrie Irving posted a video saying black people are the Jews. What did they label him? Anti-Semitic. If you say anything about those Jewish people, you anti-Semitic. That's not oppression. That's power. They got power to shut you up, take your money, ruin your life. That's not oppression. We've been called niggas all our life. And you, nobody does anything about us being called niggas. They put us in the projects. Nothing happens. A white man come over here with a badge on, put one of us to death, and all we can say is, hands up, don't shoot. See? We got no power to stop it. Right. That sounds like oppression. They got power to stop you from doing anything to them. That's right. not oppression. That's power. That means you run the world. Right. That's what that means. The Jewish people own the world. They own the entertainment industry. They own the music industry. Right. They own the movie industry, right. Hollywood. They own the banking system. Right. They have all the power and you have none. That's not, the Bible says they would be only what? Only oppressed. Only oppressed. And crushed. And what? And crushed. Like put a knee on your neck. Like be addicted to drugs. Like be baby fathers and baby mothers. Like be gunned down by your own people and the oppressor. The Bible said the Jews would be only oppressed. These are things that are fit that, that fit who? And in school they try to make it seem like the Jews was getting bullied. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something. Because we read in the Bible, we read in the history of the Jews. Yeah. Who does these things happen to? Yo, yo, yo. Who do who these things happen to? My brother. Black people. Right? right. Well, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Revelations 2 and 9. Now I'm gonna show you what the Bible said about those people calling themselves Jews. The real Jews today. Look at look around the neighborhood. The Bible says these are the real Jews. Right. This is why when Kanye said it, Kyrie Irving said it, who else uh, said Nick it? Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon said it. When all them people said the real Jews are black people, they got canceled until they apologized to the fake Jews and donated to the Holocaust Museum or something. Because you are the real people this Bible is talking about. Right. Why slavery on ships is in the Bible. That happened to you. That never happened to them white people. Being only oppressed and all your resources being taken from you, they the ones that take the resources. All the diamond factories are owned by Jewish people. They have the resources. So how the Bible saying that your resources are going to be taken, but you got all the resources? That don't make sense. Read what the Bible say about the Jews today. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Bring it out. I know thy works and tribulation. Tribulation means you are afflicted. And what? And poverty. Are the people that live here rich or in poverty? Poverty. This is poverty. Right. The projects is poverty. The Bible said, I know your works and your pop, uh, your poverty. Talking to the Jews. Read. But thou art rich. But you're rich because the Bible in the kingdom of heaven belongs to you. Right. You are a God, right. according to God. You are the only people that the Bible says God cares about. Right. I know we went to Christian church and we were taught God cares about everybody. This, but all these people that the whole world sees as niggas and nothing else, God says they are the apple of my eye and I'm right. the only person that cares about them. Hmm. Everybody else hates them. That's why it's so much of a conspiracy to put you in the projects. We don't got good education, we don't got food source, right, right. but we got guns and drugs in our community. Right. You ever ask the question, why do all these things get pushed on us? You don't go to the white people neighborhood and they put guns and drugs in their neighborhood. Bring it out. They put Whole Foods in their neighborhood. That's right. right. They put private schools in their neighborhood. Right. The grass the good as hell in their neighborhood. Right. But you get guns. Give us reparations. Oh, we don't got enough reparations to give them. But they can't, you mean to tell me they can stop you from getting reparations, but they can't stop drugs and guns from coming in your neighborhood? Jeez. They putting the damn drugs and guns in your neighborhood. Right. They sell it back to the street. Right, but guess what? We use them. Yeah. We know we fall for the trap. That's why it's called yeah. the what? What we call this? The what? The trap. Yeah, trap. Ain't that what we call it? Yeah. You know what I think? Nobody questions. Why do we call it that? So why do we call it? Why are we proud to call something something that sounds like it's to our detriment? It's a trap. It's made for you to end up one or two places, in prison or dead. It's a trap. But what the Bible say about the Jews, read. But thou, Watch this, listen, listen, listen carefully. Read. But thou art rich. But you, the real Jews, these people are rich. I got you, listen real quick, read. And I know the blasphemy. I know the lies of what? Of them, of them which say they are Jews. Say they're the Jews. And are not. And are what? 
are not. Those people over there in modern day Palestine bombing babies are not the real Jews according right. to the Bible. Oh. Christ himself said, I know the lives of them that call themselves Jews today. And I what? Or not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Those people are the devil the Bible speaks of. That's they stole right. your entire identity and gave it to themselves. Now, you African Americans, niggas, Negroes, and they are the Jews. You are the sons and daughters of the living God. Right. But the reason why you don't know is because your God, your God, is punishing you. See. No different. Any of y'all got kids? You got kids? You got kids? If your kid out here playing with everybody, right? And you tell your kid to come in before the lights come on. They kid don't listen, your kid don't listen. You gonna whoop the neighbor's kids or your kid? You might whoop both of them. You might be a last of a dying breed. I agree. I agree. That's that's the right mindset. But is the average person gonna whoop everybody's kids? The other parent gonna be mad at you because you Amos 3 and 1. I'm gonna show you something about God to prove that this Bible is not for everybody. Because everybody don't suffer this way. You, you get caught selling a, a damn nick bag or some stuff. They gonna throw the book at you. White people been selling bricks of this stuff. They don't get anything. They might get a slap on the wrist. Teach. They might get community service. They might kill you though if they catch you with that stuff. Why? Read. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1. On. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Children of Israel are the Jews according to the Bible. He said, hear this word I've spoken against you, children of Israel, read. Against the whole family. The whole race of people. Which I brought you listening? from the land of Egypt. That I saved from slavery to the Egyptians, read. Same, Same way. You only have know I the whole world. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. The Bible said God only cared about the Jews, the Israelites. He right. said you only have I cared about above all the families of the entire earth. There are 18 different races of people in the earth. God said I only care about one. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.